We are in IBM's integrated man management module, which comes with all higher end Series X servers. And some people refer to this as a lights out board. And this allows us to manage the server at a BIOS level access, uh, all the way uh, to restarting the computer, checking processors and various different things uh, by just logging in. So let's go ahead and log in. The username is, is by default user ID in all caps and we'll go ahead and put in our password. Now the password default is password in all caps but with a zero instead of an O. So you do have to have Java installed and the latest version is recommended and we'll go ahead and see the loading. Okay so we're all done loading we can see that everything is operating normally. If you want you can port forward port 80 and 443 from your firewall to this uh, internal IP address and then you can manage this from home if you want to. All right, one of the main things that people like to do is to go and manage the server itself. So you go to server management and click on remote control. And it's, first it checks to make sure your Java client is up to date and we're good. And then you have a choice between uh, starting in single user or multi-user mode. So this is really nice. It allows you to have multiple people access this at once remotely. We're going to go ahead and single user mode and it should now bring up the screen that will allow us to control our server. Go ahead and continue. That's a normal message. And it looks like it's just about done loading. And another run command there. And there we are. All right, so we see our server, and from here we can do a lot of different things. Uh, you can see that uh, there's not a lot going on with, with the uh, server right now, so we're going to want to uh, make sure that we turn this thing on, and we'll go to power. It says it's on right now. And there we go. It just took a second for it to uh, for the screen to come up. Uh, so from here we can... Um, go ahead and control alt delete into it we can do that by going up to macros static macros and control alt delete and now we can go ahead and log in try that one more time all right so we are logged into our server all right, so, so there's a lot of other things that we can do here. We've got the IMM management. Um, by default, the IP address of the management is 192.168.70.125. So you're not going to probably want to leave it at that. And if you click on the IMM and then the network, then you'll be able to change that right down here. So you can go ahead and highlight this, change it to whatever you want, and then the, an apply button will come up. And then you can restart the browser with that new IP address. You can also do IP version 6 if you'd like as well. If you go over to the SMTP, you can go ahead and put in an IP address of an email server. And then if you go to events and event recipients, you can actually add that user and uh, it'll go ahead and email you anytime an event happens. So let's go back to system status. There's power actions we can do. We can power on, power off, shut down operating system, restart the server immediately. So lots of different things we can do. Of course, we've got a remote control we looked at earlier. System information, if you click on that, it'll give you information about the server itself. Um, if we go to service and support, this is what you use in case you're calling IBM support. They will want to know this information. Uh, if you want to know status on various different things, such as cooling devices, uh, memory, things like that. You can just go ahead and click on that and it'll tell you what's happening. So that's an overview of the IMM management uh, port on the IBM Series X servers.